Bon Appetit Freaks, we are here. Del Lago, yes. Oh, you like my dance moves? Come on with me. Bon Appetit Freaks, we are back bringing you one of these. It ain't even a diamond in the rough. You can see this. All you got to do is come to this resort, the Mayan Palace. It's like several different hotels in this one big, huge resort. I can't even give you the details, but that's not important. This food is what's important. So this is what we're going to jump into. We went to their buffet, Del Lago. I think that's the whole name of it. Anyways, you're going to figure it out when you get to this resort. But they got everything. They got Spanish, the uh, Mexican style breakfast, quiche, uh, tortillas. Look at that. Fresh tortilla. Can't beat it. 100% organic too. Like it's, it tastes so authentic and so, I don't know. It tastes way better. It tastes like a regular one. It tastes, I don't even know. I can't get the words out of my mouth. I just need to get this food in my mouth. Oh, a bird just flew in here. You can tell we in the jungle. I think I might need some more of those tortillas. Oh my God. The orange juice tastes so fresh. This, this is a, a, a bacon, egg and cheese quiche. It even got a little crust to it. So it's kind of like a pie. It's really good. It's like really cheesy. I taste the cheese, but there's something else in there. I don't know if it's cream cheese or what. But there's something else in there that's setting it off like really, really good. I'm guessing this is a Mexican hash brown. Mm. It's like a normal hash brown. Don't ask me to tell you what this stuff is because I'm not going to remember because there was like a whole bunch of stuff up there. But I think this is beef though. <clears throat> it's looked like beef. Hmm. That's where it's at right there. And it's good. And you don't struggle too much to get it separated from each other. And this is chicken. <clears throat> Man. Oh my goodness. That's good. <clears throat> I got some French toast and some donuts. So one of the one of the best donuts that I've ever tasted. I'm gonna put the link up here somewhere, left, right, I don't know, somewhere up here. And um, <clears throat> it was in San Diego, so I'm gonna try these donuts out and this French toast. I had the best fresh French toast in uh, in Orlando. And I'm gonna put the, the link up here so y'all can check that video out. It's gonna be hard to, to compete with those French toast. This donut may beat that other donut, <clears throat> but we'll see. So I'm going to try the donut out first. Gracias, señor. 
Okay, so the donut, okay. There's this place in California that had the most freshest orange juice. This just beat it by a long shot. Like you could literally taste this orange juice and know that it's fresh. Like you could kind of still taste the peel in it. I don't know if they use the juicer or what, but you could taste the peel in it. Like this is gonna be like a hard decision maker right here. If this French toast is better than Kiki's. I don't know if it's the strawberry jelly that's making it taste so good. <clears throat> I didn't even have to really drip it up like that. It was pre-dripped for me. <laughs> but this thing is bussing. It ain't being Kiki, man. It's, 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 it's hard. You don't think so? It's good, though. It's like number two. That's how I like it. I <clears throat> seen somebody else's table had this. This is carrot juice and papaya. I grew up, I wouldn't say eating papaya, but I'm real familiar with it. I've tasted it before. It has a lot of uh, health benefits to it. So let's see how fresh this carrot and papaya taste. Wow. Yeah, so I, thank you. So I honestly really think that they just put everything in a blender, the skin, everything, and just, it just go. Because <clears throat> this right here, it tastes exactly like the papaya skin. It's not as bad as when you actually like bite it or, yeah. So you just taste it. And this right here is grapefruit juice. And yeah, you taste the skin of the grapefruit. But that's good though, because I think a lot of the, uh, <clears throat> the healthiness in it is really in the skin. So, Belgian waffles. I could tell right now that this, ah, this shit hot. I'm sorry, this is hot. It's really hot. You got to bleep that out, but look. Look when I, I can't even grab it with, look, look at that. You know it's about to be some trouble. When you see it so soft like that. So I got syrup and whipped cream in there. So it is really fresh. I like mines like this, I'm sorry, you see that? You know I like that drip. I'm sorry. I'm a soggy waffle eater. The only thing is with this one that I've tasted in other waffles that I said that they were really good, this doesn't have like a unique flavor. So it's a real good waffle because it's really, really soft. And it's not real crunchy and it's not, it's not tough, none of that stuff. But it's just like a regular waffle, but it's good. The highlight, most definitely them waffles. So waffles, French toast, quesadillas. And then the chicken, <laughs> the chicken and the beef. Like, that's how the list goes down. And those meats that I had, the chicken, the beef, it looked like it was steak. Those was awesome. Like, real tender. Like, you seen when I pulled it apart from it, I showed you on the camera, like, man, like, I didn't even think we was gonna have a good breakfast like this. I thought it was just gonna be mediocre. But this was busting. Like, it blew my expectations away because I have this expectation of resorts just being so uh, cookie cutter, cookie cutter, I guess, or like just basic. But this, this isn't basic. It's far from basic. The environment, the atmosphere, the food, everything. Like, this is five star, all the way, five star. Bon appetit, freaks. It's over. It's done. I'm full. I loved it. 
you should try it so you can love it. What you need to do right now though, is if you like it, like it. If you love it, then love it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you stay up to date with the videos that we are dropping every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Every single Wednesday. Stay tuned. We getting it. We international, baby. International. Let's go.